Okay, hello and welcome to Crash and Burn RC. Today we're going to be taking a look at the GPS Logger version 2 by Quantum. I got this at Hobby King. Um, it was about 50 bucks. And similar items like this run about 100 bucks. So I decided to give it a shot. Um, what it does is that it'll log by GPS. It'll log your speed. It'll log your distance. It'll log some GPS coordinates and a few other things. Um, so let's take a look at it. Here it is, like this. And then one thing before we get started I want to show you is that it's very important. This has two buttons, one on the left and one on the right. They don't tell you which one is which. So you're just going to have to remember that the left is the menu or the enter button. So enter button on the left and the right side is the scroll button. And this can screw you up. It'll erase all your data if you hit the wrong button when you're done logging your information. So you just got to remember the scroll button and the enter button. Okay, let's go ahead and plug it in and see what we got. Okay, there we go. It's on now. And what it's doing right now is that it's searching for the uh, satellite. And we're going to go ahead and bypass that. We'll show you that in the uh, flight video. So we want to push menu to exit. So we're going to hit the menu button. Hit the menu button twice. Hit the menu button. Is this the menu button? Come on, menu. There we go. Well, it's skipping ahead on us. Let's go ahead and scroll through it. Okay, now we're at the main menu here. It says, if you can see this, top says navigation and logging. So we're going to use the right button to scroll down um, to logging. And then the next screen will be to view your data that you just recorded in logging. And then it's got a PC connect where you can connect it to the PC, but you need a funky cord here. I didn't know where to get. So I'm not going to worry about that. Um, so let's go down to logging, which is what you would use to put in your plane. And once again, you got to have enough room to put this thing in your plane. Um, and then we'll hit enter. And as soon as we do, it should go over to the logging button. So now what it's doing is that it's logging your coordinates. It's so logging your distance and it's logging your speed. So then when you bring the plane back in, you'll go ahead and hit enter and then save and exit. So you want to save it. Now this is where you can script because if you hit that scroll button, it's going to go somewhere else and not save your data. So you definitely want to put uh, the menu button on that. Okay, so once you're done logging, you're going to scroll back down to view data and you're going to hit enter. And this is where it's going to give you your, your distance traveled on the top the time traveled, I'm sorry, the, the, the amount of time that you uh, flew, we're going to scroll down. This will give you your GPS coordinates here. So let's scroll down from there. And then on the bottom here, you'll see max speed. And that's where it's going to give you your maximum speed. And it's going to give it to you in kilometers. And then the distance is meters. Um, so I got on the iPhone a quick little uh, conversion uh, app that was free. And just enter it in there and it tells you everything you need to know. So let's give it a shot. Let's go out to the field and see it in action. Okay, here we go with hooking up the GPS. And put this in the third or the battery slot here. Sometimes that works. Alright, here we go. Okay, now it's searching. We just got to let it search. Sometimes it does it quick. Sometimes it takes up to like three or four minutes. There we go. Success. Okay. So let's scroll down to logging. Enter. Okay, we are now logging. So let's put everything in. Let's scooch it up to the front here. A lot of stuff going on in there. All right, let's give it a try. Let's see what we can get.
Ready? Here we go. Okay, now we will check on the GPS to see what we have here. Okay, now we're going to leave everything on. Don't unplug anything because it will all turn off. Let me make sure my throttle hold. There we go, no throttle. I can get my fingers in there now. There, okay, let's take a look at what we got. Okay, go ahead, go, enter, okay, logging, so you want to go, enter, save and exit, enter, saving, all right, now we're going to scroll down, now don't hit the enter button again, because then you're going to start logging and it'll erase everything, so we're going to scroll down to view data, now we can hit enter, okay, the distance, that's good. Let's do, all right, here. We're in meters. So, what I'm going to do is whip out my converter. Uh, let's see. Uh, I got the conversion right here. Okay, in meters. We want to convert meters. Convert meters, and that is 1780.4. Convert. A mile... Just over a mile, 1.106 miles. Okay, we're going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Uh, at max speed, 70.4 kilometers an hour. 70.4. And convert. 44 miles an hour. Almost 45. 44.8 miles an hour was my fastest.